Now I have a Metabo chop saw, and it's a great little tool. That is. It really is. It's accurate. I get repeatable cuts on it. Yeah, it's a good, good machine. It is. This is a rail saw. You know, comes out onto two rails here, and there isn't any real play in that whatsoever. It's pretty done. You know, firm. You know, very little play in it. But then I go over to this budget version over here, say for instance, Chapac, and it's. I can move the rails back and forwards in my hands, and I can feel it. Hey, there's so much movement in that. It really is. Look at that. Too much movement. How on earth are you going to get repeatable cuts? You know, your 45s are not going to be 45s, are they? The time you get to the end of your 445s, your picture frame, for instance, it's not going to meet up. It's pointless. It really is. Sometimes you're just better off. Well, just cut it with a flipping hand saw, to be honest, you know, and get a shooting board and a hand plane. Toodle.